Yo, what's up? Hey, yeah, I got you. I'm about to make a video on it right now. Yeah. Yeah, bro. All right. See you, Justin. All right. Bye. Well, hello there, my fellow people. You might have just seen NRG Justin just called me. Uh, he asked me, Boxul, teach me how to aerial. You know what I told him? Get good, kid. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Tommy, aka Box. So, back again for another video. So, what we're doing today is learning how to aerial from beginner tips all the way to advanced. So, yeah, we all want to aerial, we all want to aerial left and stuff. But honestly, you don't need all that fancy stuff. All you gotta know is how to aerial. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video and let's learn how to aerial. All right, guys, here we go. So first thing that you want to do to master aerial or car control is go into free play. All right. And what I want you to go in free play is this is what we're going to start with first is the first step of air rolling is just getting up in the air. So how you do that is you're going to double tap your jump button, pull your car back and just tap your boost to stay up in the air. That's all I want you to do. All right. That's all I want you to do. And literally, don't don't even don't even touch your analog stick. All right, just keep on double tapping your boost or tapping it, feathering your boost. And then that's all I want you to do: double tap, pull back, straighten it up. Literally, just feather your boost. All right, that's all you have to do to get up in the air. All right, and once you get good at it, this is what you're gonna do next: is do a fast aerial. To do a fast aerial, you pull back on your analog stick, tap, and tap your jump button twice. As soon as you get up in the air, let go of your analog stick, and then tap your jump button. And that's fast aerials. And then once you get good at it, you, you use boost. So then that's how you do it right there. And that's the fastest way to get up. So you literally... If you know those two ways of doing an aerial, you'll be anybody, be any opponent, be any teammate, ball chasing teammate up in the air. All right. So fast aerials are a check. And then now we're going to focus on how to keep your car in control and learn how to hit the ball when you're aerialing or aerials. So, yeah. So all I want you to do is going to free play now and just go from goal to goal just aerial or aerial how you say it aeroling we'll call it aeroling so all you're going to do is aerial or aerial literally it's from goal to goal That's all you have to do fast aerial just feather your boost keep on hitting it and then you don't even have to land how I'm landing. You can literally just land like this. Watch. So you're going. You're going trying to keep it straight. You can literally just land right there. Literally just land inside. Come up right here. And then just jump. That's all you have to do. All right. But yeah. That's how you perfect aerials. Just by practicing, going to free play. And then if you want, know your controls. All right. Your steering sensitivity and your aerial sensitivity are going to be like yin and yang. All right. I like to keep my steering and aerial sensitivity the same. You don't have to. It's all about preference. But to do aerials and have control is finding out your sensitivity with aerials. All right. Now, I'm at 1.35. That's just my preference. I made a best controller settings about like explaining all these types and stuff. So check that out if you haven't. But yeah, let's say I put my aerial sensitivity all the way to 2.65. Let's do that. You can see right here, I'm spinning out of control. All right. I can still, I'm, I'm just experienced where I can still control my car. But 
if I was a new person, I was trying to aerial, I would just be flying out of control. So what I want you to do is just start your aerial sensitivity at one. All right. And go up when you're not spinning out of control until you spin out of control. Then that's when you stop. But if you just think it's too slow for you, keep going up until you are just falling out of control. And then the sensitivity you had before that you weren't spinning out of control, keep that sensitivity and just perfect it. So I've been doing it with 1.35 and literally I don't spin out of control. I can literally maneuver all I want and still have perfect car control. So I'm not, I'm not the greatest of all time. All right. Even though Squishy said it, Garrett G said it, Arsenal said, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, literally I'm not great, but I know a little bit about aerial control. But yeah, just find your great sensitivity. Just find sensitivity for you. You don't have. You can go by a pros, you can go by mine. It's all about everyone's different. It's all about pre preference. Excuse my stuttering problem. But yeah, it's all about preference. So that's all I want you to do is find your sensitivity. All right, and lately you're lately one step closer to mastering aerials, and you can lately hit any aerial, aerial that you want. But yeah, so. After you find your sensitivity, what I want you to do now is just go around the arena. This is for like everybody, even Epic Games. I would do workshop maps if you're on Steam, but not everyone has Steam. So literally, you can just go on a free play and do the same stuff I'm doing. But what I want you to do though is just go to the side. You don't even have to go fast. Just maneuver your car, hold down arrow or your direction or arrow. Not arrow left or arrow right, just directional, just so you can turn your car. And you can literally just get the hang of it. Get good car control. Make sure you're not spinning out of control. And this is literally all you have to do just practice. Just practice. And once you get the hang of that, you can literally go a little bit faster come up literally just perfect your aerial but so let's let's start from square one again so we got fast aerials which are these big boys right here then we got perfecting your sensitivity and not spinning out of control And then once you get the hang of those, now you're going to try to perfect upside down. So what I want you to do after you do all that is just go upside down. Get the hang of that. Do the same thing as the, you were like having the car right ways up, but upside down instead. And this is going to help you literally be able to maneuver even upside down. Everyone wants to do that. That would be so cool to do. Uh, you can literally do those aerial shots upside down and hit it like this. And literally get signed to NRG. Space Station Gaming, stuff like that. But yeah. So after you do that, you perfect it upside down. You perfected your aerials, fast aerials, stuff like that. Then we can start going to the arrows and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty much, you don't even have to be all fancy with the arrows. You can literally, ball comes up in the air, just hit it. That's all you have to do. I mean, you can you can do like the aerials like this and stuff, and like be all fancy with it, fancy. But you don't. Even, you can just literally hit it. That's all you have to do. Because remember, all you have to do is hit the ball from point A to point B, which is the goal. That's all you have to do. Don't even have to do no fancy stuff. And literally, you'll be surprised how many goals you score and you will never miss aerial. Yeah, literally. Find your sensitivity so you can literally stick control with the ball. Stay control with the ball. Don't spin out of control. And you'll hit any aerial. And with those fast aerials, 
you'll beat anybody to like to the ball and you'll become energy just in no time so yeah that's gonna be pretty much uh the end of the video hope y'all guys enjoyed also if y'all guys are new i know i know uh i know people don't like uh people don't like this and stuff like that but we gotta do it you gotta hit the subscribe button gotta like the video join our discord too because we're gonna be doing tournaments 50 dollar tournaments 100 dollar tournaments might even go to all the way a thousand in due time but yeah we're gonna do decal custom decal tournaments when alpha console gets updated but yeah join our discord subscribe to the channel join our family join the box tool community i got that's another thing i gotta think of something for our community y'all guys gotta help me out what y'all guys want to be called i was thinking maybe the boxers you know box tool you know the boxers yeah that's why i need help that's why i need help i suck in ideas so yeah so subscribe help me pick out a name for y'all and yeah that's gonna be it loving each every one of y'all that subscribe like the video watch my videos too but yeah hope you guys have a blessed day or night and again thank you guys so much and i'm out peace